in this video I'm going to answer a couple of questions asked to me uh, based on uh, the video that I have made on uh, time series analysis theory so these are the questions asked uh, in the comment asked in the comment section so uh, uh, I'll take four of them so the first question that people have asked me is can we call time series analysis uh, the forecasting technique uh, time series analysis as a supervisory uh, a supervised uh, machine learning technique okay well yes we can certainly call it as a supervised machine learning uh, technique the reason is um, well what is uh, supervised uh, machine learning technique you have a data which is labeled against it right so uh, in a supervised learning algorithm uh, you have equations like this it's pretty much like your uh, um regression right a linear regression is a supervised learning algorithm where y is the label variable right and x is the uh, independent uh, variable covariate or features whatever you call it all right in time series analysis if you look at the uh, ar model it is uh, yt uh, plus yt minus 1 and then if you look at the MA model it's uh, the co combination of the error terms right um, ARMA is is a combination of AR and MA right so you have the lag and you have the error term right so you have AR, MA, ARMA. In all the places, we have a uh, variable which is a level variable, right? Or which is a dependent variable, a target variable, right? And then we have bunch of independent variables. But the difference between a linear regression model and the time series model is that the uh, the uh, independent variable or the right hand side variable uh, or variables in the right hand side of this equation are nothing but the lag of the dependent variable okay other than that the structure remains same uh, you know there is there is this uh, exogenous variable and then endogenous variable or you know you can call it as independent dependent variable the concepts remain same except the fact that the independent variable uh, in the time series analysis is either the lag of the same variable or the error term okay hence uh, going by the definition of your supervised machine learning algorithm where you have a data so you train your data in such a way that um, you know you um, you train it to train your model in such a way that um, that uh, you know it is able to label the data right but it's able to find out the uh, value of a, a target variable Right? So these are the two ways of defining uh, machine uh, a supervised machine learning, and uh, and you can also find out find the same thing in time series models. So you can call it as supervised uh, machine learning um, technique. If you're not sure what supervised machine learning uh, algorithms are, there is a video in my playlist, um, predictive model theory, wherein you will get uh, to know what is supervised machine learning and what is unsupervised machine learning. So you can watch that video. All right. Another questions people have asked me. They have uh, they're a bit confused with run, they're confused with the terms random work and stationarity. Well, there are two different terms, and stationarity is a like random work is is a non-stationary model, uh, whereas stationarity is a property. Random work is just a, one kind of a model. Where stationarity is a property. Just to uh, you know, do a brief recap, what stationarity is. Stationarity is basically uh, a property of a time series data, where the statistical properties, uh, statistical uh, measurements like mean, autocorrelation, variance doesn't change over time. Okay, uh, you know, and something that doesn't uh, f uh, satisfy this this criteria, then um, it's called a non-stationary uh, process or non-stationary time series. So a non-stationary time series could look something like this, or could look something like a, 
like this. But in this case, mean is changing. Statistical measure mean is changing. Here in this case, the variance is changing, right? The variance is changing. Also. There is less variance and then there is more variance and then there is less variance, right? So these are non-stationary. Whereas a stationary time series could look something like this. Right, the mean and the variance is something you know. Is. All right, whereas random walk is a one type of non-stationarity. Okay, so random walk uh, follows upward trend or downward trend, uh, something like that. Okay, this is one type of non-stationarity which is represented as y t equal to mu plus y t minus one plus epsilon. That means there is seems to be um, uh, you know, there seems to be uh, a trend associated with uh, the random work model, right? So it will go up, up something like this. It would go down also, something like this. Okay, and maybe it it goes up for some times and then comes down and so on. Okay, so there will be a trend, upward trend and downward trend for a longer period of time, and that uh, property. Um, is also is not called uh, also uh, similar to what we have defined as non-stationarity. Okay, and um, random walk process, which is represented by this equation, is one type of non-stationary process. But there are other types of non-stationary processes as well. So um, don't be confused with these two terms: random walk and uh, stationarity. All right. Another question people have asked me is, what is quadratic trend? Okay, so this is a term which is, uh, you know, uh, used quite a number of times while explaining things. So, uh, what do you mean by quadratic trend? Uh, is simple. It's, a, well, um, in the, if in regression analysis, you might have heard about what is known as a linear trend. So, linear and quadratic are terms used in mathematics, right? For example, if I write this equation y equal to 2 plus 3x, uh, this is called a linear equation, right? It's called a linear equation. Whereas, if I write y equal to 3 plus 6x squared, I call this is a quadratic equation. Okay, so when you plot this particular uh, equation, you will get a straight line. Whereas if you plot the second equation, you will get uh, you will get a curve. You won't get a straight line, right? So whenever you get, whenever you have, uh, um, you know, this kind of a, uh, you know trend in the time series data, this is called quadratic uh, trend okay or in more general terms you know because you can have quadratic trend uh, you can have cubic trend so, uh, so you can you can you can call it as polynomial trend okay so but in general people use quadratic uh, trend whenever it is not uh, linear okay so if the trend in the in this time series is not straight line Normally, people use this term quadratics, so it's it's more it, it means polynomial in general. It could be on order of a uh, degree of two, three, uh, four, and so on. All right. Another questions which is asked to me is: Is time series uh, sensitive uh, to outliers? Yes. Yes, it is sensitive to outliers. Like most uh, most other uh, you know statistical techniques like uh, regression, uh, logistic regression, uh, quantile regression, and so on, so on. Uh, like in any other structural models, um, you will you will find that outliers are always problems. But how we define outlier is uh, is very subjective, and it depends uh, on so many things. Many times this so called outliers are not problems at all in fact they provide more information about uh, uh, the uh, the the reality if you take them out from your data then you are actually uh, missing out on some important uh, information so how we define outliers will depend on 
two aspects one is uh, you know more theoretical uh, the second one is uh, the uh, problem that we are dealing with so the way outliers will be defined in a particular uh, problem in a particular uh, uh, you know business problem it could be a scientific problem um, will not be same in uh, in all all the kinds of uh, areas like it, it will differ a lot and it's very subjective hence uh, if it is considered to be an outlier uh, based on the um, the, uh, the the you know the rules defined in a particular uh, uh, research problem then it is going to uh, create problem okay and what are the problems that that could be created uh, it's same as what uh, you see in structural models uh, regression models more uh, forecast error so your forecast will not be very accurate so there will be a, a large forecast error because of outliers the second one is um, of course there will be problem in uh, in explaining the inferences properly okay there will be uh, uh, you know the there will be large standard error and that is uh, that is not a good uh, thing in a model right so these are problems thank you so much and please subscribe to our channel thanks for all the support